So former Starbucks CEO Howard Schultz is not running for president. After announcing uh, earlier this year that he was considering a run as a centrist independent, Schultz kind of went away for a while. Then this past week officially announced his bid for the White House is no more. His announcement came as welcome news to Democrats who worried Schultz would siphon votes from the eventual Democratic nominee and guarantee President Trump a second term. For months, state Democratic Chair Tina Podlodowski urged Schultz to reconsider. We sent a message to Howard Schultz and the message was two words. What were those two words? Just don't! And along with Democrats, I imagine that Sonics fans aren't too upset with Schultz's political ambitions coming to an end. But whatever your opinion of Schultz is as a person, the message he tried to bring to the table is one that I think really resonates with many Americans. Bear with me. So I got a chance to speak with Howard Schultz a few months ago. What I'm talking about is something critically important, and that is this government, both parties, the ideology, the extremism, have not served the American people. If I run for president, I'm running outside of the two-party system to bring the country together under a unified message of doing things that are in interest of the American people. So one of the things that I asked Schultz when we were sitting down is how people can actually take action to address that issue that he brings up, to stop the bickering, to stop the partisanship, to restore a little civility to our country and to our communities. I, I think that is a great question, and I think it's a very simple answer, and that is if you could just demonstrate kindness and empathy to one person, every single day, if everyone in America would just do that, uh, our society would be less divided, there'd be less hate, there'd be less bigotry. Find one person every single day and make their life a little bit better. Find one person every single day and make their life a little better. Look, I know some of you aren't fans of Howard Schultz, and that's fine. Sonics fans, you're included in this. But in times like these, polarizing political times, I don't think any of us can afford to ignore that simple advice, even if you don't like the messenger. Mm -hmm.